Welcome to Ulusil people in the Binding of Lordran. I realized that I've worn this sh pink this pink shirt a lot, holy shit, on these videos. Um, it's my at-home shirt, so I don't wear the same clothes every day. I don't know why. I j it's just the thing I noticed as soon as I turn on my webcam. You know, there's a lot to consider when you're doing face cam that your hair doesn't look like a mess you're actually wearing clothes you know actually wearing pants which some people don't tend to do um, especially now that we're quarantining sort of quarantining not really you know how it is anyways we are back with this mod Binding of Lordran in Ulusil Garden or Royal Woods or whatever this thing's called. Um, I've kind of read up on the mechanics a little bit. Just a couple of points. Um, if you die five times, which means one more death for me, uh, that's when the playthrough restarts. So I was wondering, you know, how many times you're allowed to die before the game just screws you. Not screws you, but you know, uh, before it's like up, because there has to be like a time limit. Um, yeah, it's five, which is fair, I guess. I mean, this is not Binding of Isaac, where, you know, one death and that's it, technically. Solar Knight. So they almost got it right. They almost did. This is a fucking mimic. No, it's not. I can never, never tell mimics in this game. Uh, I got fucked by a mimic uh, on the first area, and ever since then, this is a bad placement for an archer. And ever since then, I have been scared of. Oh come on! What is this matrix shit? While I'm getting blasted, and this guy's hella overreacting. You have got to be shitting me. <laughs> yes. This is the most anime death ever in Souls. Thank you. When he falls to his knees, I step over his corpse. Jesus. That was pretty good. Um, I'm assuming this area is gonna conclude with Artorias. Oh, this is a not a good enemy placement. And I'm noticing that enemies are starting to have more H and P. Talisund Partisan, my favorite weapon. I'm gonna check it out. What is it? Fisty Metal Beard. Oh, this is the Fisty Metal Beard. Oh, and it has the fucking. Let me check it out. It's probably not gonna be good, but it has, it has a dagger move set. That actually might just straight up be really good. Oh fuck, and try not to fall. Just think about having the dagger move set on a mace. Oh hell, hell yeah. Which move set is that? Oh fuck off. Double fuck off. And he just healed. Oh man, this is like super good. I, I straight up can't tell which moves. Which has. The, oh, it's the Eito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. I was like, what the hell weapon has. You know, it's worth checking out the weapons in this. Because, first of all, they're hilarious. This is a long spirit, a longsword moveset, seriously? Yeah, I think so. That actually doesn't. It's not that ill fitting. And I have this one as well. Oh, this is the lance, right? Logatria's billhook. The names. But this is still this is still the superior Chad equipment. Uh that I picked up like I must have just locked out. Oh shit. Okay, this is empty. Or the item just like straight up spawned inside the ground which is also very possible 
It's an excellent look of having that arrow stick out of you. Why am I not using my shield? This is one thing I gotta get. First of all, I might actually have 100% block shield and I might be able to... Yeah, I am. This might... But see, this is the weird, like, maybe the enemies deal random... Not stat damage, but something like that, because... Even though and this is a 100% physical block... No, it's not. Shit. Okay, the question is, am I stupid? Am I just misremembering it? Because I swear the spider shield used to have a 100. Sneeze? <laughs> ah, fuck. We do it live here, people. As Bill O'Reilly said all those years ago. So... Fucking hell. You get to witness the live sneezes. And the live sniffles as well. Luckily, I am not sick anymore. Kittel Silver Dagger. Uh, so I got that going for myself. I'm just making sure. I've not mid-rolled in so long. Sometimes you just gotta... What the hell? Do you see how it's like weirdly... Looks like he's made of metal. Must be just because they're in a different environment. Whatever. I'm really curious about the boss. Looks like we have some asshole enemies here. Like we have one of those gardeners. Gardenia. I don't know why I just thought of Gardenia. That's a song with Queens of the Stone Age and Iggy Pop. It came out like a few years ago. It's pretty good. Good album as well. Maybe because I'm listening to quite a lot of Queens of the Stone Age. The question is, do I risk this here? Uh, it would be stupid to risk. Uh, something just made a really strange noise. Oh, must be this thing. Oh fuck, look at the missile. These things are kinda... Oh shit, Crystal Ember. The weird thing is, and I've not been able to figure this out, is that embers are one-time use in this game. So... Uh-oh. So I need to, like, figure out what they do. And, of course, the big question is, since I've not done it yet, I'm wondering what carries over and what doesn't when you die. Um... I'm assuming the only thing I can think of is that your base weapon carries over. There's no way that this weapon, any of these like randomly generated ones, carry over. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm up. No! No! Are you... F oh, <laughs> I jumped by accident. <laughs> no, it's because of the controller. And just when I talked about it, too. Yeah, I'm fucked, aren't I? I cannot believe that's how... The five fingers on curl. I'm naked. Shit. This is the stupidest thing that has ever happened to me. Oh, man. I'm naked. Completely naked. Motherfuck. You don't keep nothing. Ziegmeier's ring. No way to talk? No. No, 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 not you, not you. This is who I want to... ring. Shut up! Now we're cooking. That's what I want to hear. Ring making friendship with the restless Ziegmeier. Bestows a care package of sorts upon its wearer when they venture out from filing. It's no other effect except to remind one of Joyce and Stoic companions. Greatly increases wearer's maximum. Okay. We know that. We know how that works. 
Oh man, I, that was... Let's go for someone else. Crush four fingers for blessing? Huh? Oh shit. Courage light. I love courage light. Let's see what the sorcerer does. Um... There's no other way to say it. But that was a dumb fucking death. So. Let's go. Start over. Let's see how much each of these runs change. Whether we still end up in the same sort of like area progression or not. Or is it like completely random? That's the question. So. The reason I died, oh fuck, thank you Zeke, the reason I died is this controller that I'm using has an issue where even if I'm holding down the circle, it sometimes releases, it's like sensitive, so if I move my finger even just a little bit off of it, uh, it registers, there I moved it on purpose, but it registers it as um, me releasing it, which of course makes you jump in this game. And of course it happened straight over a pit. Really the lesson to learn here is number one, don't talk about like the potential ways you can die because the five the monkey paw or whatever it's called is definitely gonna curl like the five fingers and fuck me over hello oh this is another one of these fast slow motherfuckers Hmm. 14, 14. Just think of that number. What are my stats? Okay, that's not too bad. I might go for that. Silver Knight Spear with whatever moveset. This thing fucking sucks. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, this ain't a good weapon. But there's not gonna be nothing here. Yep. All right. I think we know our way. We know where to go. Pretty self-explanatory. Oh, the well. What if? What if you have to go upstairs? That would suck. Because my thinking now is to go to where Quelag is. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Crit. Yeah, to go where Quelag is. But what if the game wants you to go up? Wait, hold on a second. Do you have... Did my shit just recharge or something? Cuz I didn't ha cuz I used plenty. I mean spells. But does healing also recharge your thing? I'm going to have to like explore this mechanic. Like see what happens basically is what I'm saying. Yeah, it recharges. Okay. Periodically, it seems to recharge. That's fair, I guess. Because, like, you're without bonfires, so... If spells didn't do that, they would be... They would be kind of useless. 
Eat shit, bitch. Get stabbed in the dick. Okay, this is... We have un problemo. To say the least. What the hell are all these things spawning for? Oh, yeah, I should kill him. You cannot parry that attack, right? There's no way. I got the partial parry, though. That's how much of a parry god I am. Garriott. Anklers. Sounds good. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, fuck. It's still... Colossal Titanite piece. Damn. It sounds doink. Armor upgrade material. Alright. Well, my... Armor is shit right about now. But hey. Could go for an upgrade. I mean, I gotta check it out. Uh, what if this is where you're intended to go? Interesting. Uh, I'm going to, yeah. Technically, I should place my... Well, what if this is not where you have to go? I'm thinking of how to place my bong... My bong fire. Uh, but I think I can handle this. I don't know why I put that on. It's whatever. Okay. <laughs> Abyss Brea. What a fatso. Whoa! No, 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 no. This is not. I did not just get like a slow, fast fucking smo. Jesus. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to go bitch mode on this. Look at them titties, though. There's a different light for them titties, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go bitch mode on this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. It makes it significantly easier to escape. And no electricity, too. Because this is only... This is only phase one smo. That's why. That is a crazy attack. Yeah, he a bitch. Knick Artem bracelet and the humanity. Alright, that was easy. Easy, easy, easy. I know I didn't explore fully, but... Just checking my time. Um, I'm kind of weak right about now. Oh shit, Sans Fortress. So the things cost 3k souls, right? Per level. Um. Hmm. This shouldn't be too... This is only level 2. This shouldn't be too difficult. Because I want to start... Well, before we do anything, I think I can still... I can check out the moveset. Oh shit, what is this? What moveset does it have? Whatever. I'll work towards it. Uh, trade souls for moats. So we need... One of these, one of these, and one of these. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll use them. Oh yeah, there's no use multiple. And this should at least allow me to... Wait a second. What? But ke? Does it give you two levels? Fuck. If I'd known that. If I'd known that. 
but I didn't. So it has a halberd move set, which I'm kind of happy. About. What? No way. No fucking way. It has the dance. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful then, because that drains hella stamina, doesn't it? And it has the good halberd move set, right? I think. And f this game is taunting me. Straight up. Okay, so we've had not seen Sans Fortress for a while. This should be very interesting with randomized enemies. Although this thing is busy killing itself. Wanna go for a magic battle? I think I'm gonna win. Told you. Okay, going for the sorcerer might actually have been a good idea. I'll take back whatever whatever I said. So yeah, this area should be see it did it again. My controller. I tried to run and I got the roll. It's just how it and there's there's traps. I was gonna say I wonder if the traps are gonna be active. Of course they're fucking active. <laughs> yeah, Sonic it just Something straight up like killed itself. The mushroom for one. Oh yeah, that's enemy AI is unchanged. Which actually works out quite well for me. Please tell me. Okay. I was like, please tell me I'm protected there. And I am. Okay, wait for another one. If I get some crazy as boss on the roof here, that could actually be quite a problem when you think about it. Fuck. I didn't think it was going to be that quick. Well, that's one death. Uno. Luckily, again, this shouldn't be too big of an issue to get through this place. That was a stupid death, too. It looks like today is the day of stupid deaths. I've not managed to die in any normal way so far. And this might be another one. Okay. We got the fucking ghosts. Not of Tsushima. But the ghosts. Okay, so the, most of the enemies are like very content with killing themselves. Man, this weapon actually... Interesting. Commit Anden. <laughs> yeah, Commit Anden the video and... Let me know what you think of this. Comet under the video. What does this do? It's just gonna be cast light, isn't it? Great Swamp. One hears rumors of Seed the Scaleless. He despises magic fire to undo curse. Upward curses is the work of this spell. Well, I'm not one to challenge that, so... It looks like the spells are not randomized, so they have like stupid names. But whatever the icon is, that's what you actually that's what you actually get. Should I even tempt this place? Guess why not? Look at that booty. But there's gonna be nothing here. <laughs> That's what you got replaced with. Oh man. Pretty good. Still a nice view though. And you know, somebody asked in the comments why I'm liking, I'm enjoying this mod so far. And I replied, but I want to talk about it because honestly. Partially, even I don't know why I'm liking this mod. See, there the jumps worked out very conveniently. Why I'm liking this mod that much either. Um, 
again, because it's like obviously it doesn't hold a candle to something like Binding of Isaac in that that's a structured roguelike. Obviously, because Dark Souls wasn't built to be a roguelike, there's a little bit of jank here. I mean, if you haven't been able to tell uh, that there's a little bit of jank here, I don't know what to tell you. But there is. But despite that, I'm waiting. I am waiting. I guess not. I bet it's gonna... Okay, no it's not. Um, but still, again, as somebody who plays a shit ton of souls, to experience the game like this is hella fun. Like the fact that everything is randomized and you know, there are other mods out there, randomizer mods, but the fact that this adds some extra gameplay elements and kind of tries to structure it as in just, instead of just what the fuck, literally writing a script to randomize everything, that's gonna be horrible. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be really bad. That's like a really bad enemy placement. This is what sucks. Um, I think I got bad luck. I got a good weapon, but this area is kind of a dick area. But what can you do? I tried to roll there, but that... Oh, don't even think about it. Motherfucker. I once again survived with, like, 1 HP. As always. The ultimate Mr. Sketchhead special. The surviving with 1 HP. Um, it's my thing. It's my tang. Those things are, like, freaking out below it. They cannot climb ladders, so... Yeah. The issue is I've already died three times, which sucks. And I don't know why I was being so um, in impatient, <laughs> impatient, impatient with the pendulum. I should have just waited it out. Anyways, I'm gonna try really hard to get through them gargoyle. Not gargoyles, but just one gargoyle. But whatever, back to what I was saying. So yeah, obviously this game is janky as hell, but I feel like it goes above and beyond any other randomizer mod. Again, to actually structure it some way and make it fun to play. Uh, this is from, I've said this before quite a few times, this is from the same guy who did Daughters of Ash. I'm enjoying this infinitely more than Daughters of Ash. Uh, I've talked about this before, but I thought that Daughters of Ash, I started with liking it a lot, but I feel like it was a little bit try-hard uh, with the rewrites and all that, the different story. It had some good ideas, but it's just a little bit too much, you know. Oh man, this thing has a ton of HP too. Okay. I think I might be able to There's two of them. No, 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 there isn't. The way his tail curl curled around, I thought there was two of them for a second. I would have fucking blown my mind. What does this do? Weapon Ascension Ember. Huh. Well, at least I can move on. I would like to, like, at least get to some place safe. Because I kind of have to be... Some of the shit is just dying all over the place. Uh, I do kind of have to be a little bit conscious of... There's a Capra Demon of timing for today. Oh, 
Oh, there's a giant mushroom. A slow giant mushroom, too. Don't have strength. We will, I guess, take that later. Yeah, it's a giant tight night piece. I'm gonna get to the roof. I'm not gonna be able to bonfire there, but it's the thought that counts, you know. That's the classic Sans stopping place. And I'm fairly close to it. Oh yeah? Don't even think about it, motherfucker. How the hell did a crystal golem appear behind me? It's another Capra. No. No. No, this is not good. This Capra is fucking crazy. Oh. Yeah. This is quite a spawn. What the hell kind of messed up Capra demon was that? Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, thank you very much for watching. I think this was certainly an interesting episode. I have three marks of death, which is not that much. But I'll try to get, at least get through this, because I feel like this is a good like general character. But I don't know, man. I don't know. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Binding of Lordran. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. And yeah, peace out. Take care and see you next time.